Starting January 2025, the UK immigration website will introduce some significant changes to key immigration documents. These updates will replace certain documents such as biometric residence permits, BRP, biometric residence cards, BRC, passport endorsements like indefinite leave to enter, wet ink stamps and vignette stickers found in passports for entry clearance or visas. Now, why the change? Well, think about it. Having everything online makes life so much easier. No more carrying around cards or worrying about losing them. Plus, a lot of folks don't really get what those cards are all about anyway. So these new online visas are going to be the new cool thing. They'll do everything the old cards did, but in a way that's simpler and more convenient. Say goodbye to BRP and BRC. It's all about the online visa now. No need to stress because we've been busy gathering info on these e-visas and we're pumped to fill you in on all the details. So let's dive into everything you need to know about UK e-visas and how they're replacing those old BRPs. We'll make sure you understand all about these new e-visas. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for updates whenever we release new content. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. So what exactly is an e-visa? What is an e-visa? An e-visa is an online record of your immigration status and the conditions of your permission to enter or stay in the UK. You will need to create a UKVI account to be able to access your e-visa. Updating your physical document to an e-visa does not affect your immigration status or the conditions of your permission to enter or stay in the UK. In the future, you'll be able to use an e-visa to travel to the UK. You will not need to carry a physical document, except for your current passport, which must be registered to your UKVI account. Until the end of 2024, you will need to continue to carry your physical document when you travel. Now let's look at the advantages of an e-visa. The benefits of e-visas include they are secure and cannot be lost, stolen or tampered with. Unlike a physical document you will not need to wait for or collect, a physical document after your application is decided. You might still need to provide biometric information in person. And we will tell you if you need to do this. It will be quicker and easier to prove your status at the UK border and share your status with third parties like employers and landlords. Why bother creating a UKVI account? Well, here's the deal. The UK is ditching old-fashioned paper documents and moving to an online system to keep track of your immigration status. To access your e-visa and share info about your immigration status, like your right to work or rent in the UK, you'll need to set up a UKVI account. This lets you use their View and Proof service to easily show your status when needed. Once you've set up your UKVI account, Using it is quite straightforward. Here's what you can do. Firstly, after creating your UKVI account, you'll gain access to view your e-visa details online. This includes important information such as the type of permission you have, its expiration date, and any conditions related to your stay in the UK. Secondly, you have the option to update your personal information within your UKV account. This could involve changes to your contact details or any other pertinent information. Additionally, it's crucial to note that your e-visa will be directly linked to your passport within your account. Therefore, it's important to keep your passport or ID card details up to date within your UKVI account. Lastly, always remember to inform the authorities about any changes promptly. This ensures that your immigration status remains current and easily identifiable, especially when crossing the UK border. Despite these online conveniences, it's essential to carry your current passport with you at all times. How do I get an Avisa and a UKVI account? If you have a biometric residence permit, if you have a biometric residence permit, BRP, that expires on the 31st of December 2024, we will tell you how to create a UKVI account and access your e-visa before the expiry date of your BRP. If you have already been contacted to create an account, either by email or in a decision letter, 
you can now follow the instructions we sent you to create a UKVI account. If you have not yet been contacted about creating an account, you'll be able to create your account and access your e-visa later in 2024. Sign up for updates on this page to keep up to date on when you'll be able to access your e-visa. If you have permission to stay in the UK, once you've created your UKVI account, you will be able to sign in to the view and prove service to access your e-visa. If you find yourself needing to apply for permission to stay in the UK again, simply follow the standard application process. Throughout this process, you'll find information and guidance to assist you every step of the way. Should you require assistance in creating a UK account or accessing your e-visa, don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can use the UKV account contact form for support with setting up your UK account and navigating through your e-visa. For those who may not have internet access or lack a device such as a computer, laptop or smartphone, help is available for filling out your online application. We hope that you've gained valuable insights into the new e-visas. Remember to subscribe for more updates on important visa-related information. Your journey to staying informed continues with us.